When we have a cholesterol test, the results are usually described in terms of good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. The good cholesterol is called HDL and the bad cholesterol is called LDL. What HDL and LDL are, are carriers. These molecules are made up of fats, proteins, certain vitamins and other structural factors and within them the cholesterol sits. So to a degree the HDL and the LDL are transport uh, mechanisms or little lorries that carry the cholesterol to the parts of the body that need them. We've been given the idea that the high density lipoprotein is good for us and the low density lipoprotein is bad for us. But we also know that a lot of other things are carried. CoQ10, which is a specialised enzyme required in many different processes, but predominantly needed in mitochondria, which are the little batteries that live inside cells and give the cell energy to function in the way that it should. A cardiac muscle, a heart muscle, can have two or three thousand um, mitochondria and without CoQ10 the process of turning oxygen and sugar into energy is not going to function at an optimum. Beta carotene, uh, the, the more functional form of vitamin A in the body. We also know that vitamin E is carried by the HDLs and LDLs and this is a very important vitamin because it's a powerful antioxidant. Cholesterol lowering medications, in particular statins, are prescribed to lower bad cholesterol levels. However, a large study published in the American Heart Journal in 2009 found that the level of so-called bad cholesterol is actually lower in people with heart disease, not higher. This study included around 137,000 people who had been admitted to hospital with heart disease. It included patients from 541 hospitals in the United States. All of these people had their LDL level measured within 24 hours of admission. The researchers found that the average LDL level for this group of people was actually lower than the average level for the American general population. The average level for people with heart disease was 104 and the average for the general population was 123. If people with heart disease have lower levels of so-called bad cholesterol, why are some countries around the world spending billions of dollars each year lowering these levels? I think it's fair to say that we can't look at HDL or LDL and say that one is good and one is bad. In fact, the studies now show that drugs that increase HDL had to be stopped because they increased the rate of heart attacks. Well, the theory is false, but it's gained so much momentum and it's become so lucrative that it's, it's almost like a freight train going down a hill.